Okay, this is a BMW i3 charging cable and fix, you know, the i3 has been great. Hasn't needed any repair. This is gonna be its first one. It'll be on its charging mechanism. You can see it's done its duty over the years, but it has been totally melted and fried. So the charging box can't charge the car anymore, but it's just because that connection is bad. The box as a whole is good. So simply I'm gonna snip this off and try to put on a new one. For my donor, I've got an old drop cord I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna make it a little bit longer so that it doesn't have to, sometimes it, it would put pressure on this cord. Hopefully we solved two problems today. Okay, so this orange one is our extension cord and it's served a good life. It still works too, but it's breaking up in places. I've, you know, patched it with tape a couple of times. You know, it's, it's on the end of its life and today it's gonna go to a good cause. I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna see if we can use it to splice into the BMW harness. So first thing we'll get to see is what does it look like inside this one? Yeah, looks like we have three wires, which... You're not touching, or you'll get electrocuted. Uh, okay, I won't. <laughs> okay, so I made the cut on our little cord here, on our, what will be... And you can see, I've actually made it really long. Now, one thing to note, the longer you make an electrical cable, the more resistance you're gonna have. So if you were gonna look for the most efficient way to repair this, you would just clip this off and put just a plug. You can buy them at Lowe's or Home Depot, no problem. Um, me, I don't have one today and I want to fix this today, so I'm going to use the extension cord. But second, I am actually going to use this longer section. And the reason I'm using the longer section is because I think this failed in part because every once in a while it got hung from outlets where it was on its own weight. So while we're going to lose a little bit of efficiency in charging, it's going to make it so it never has to pull on this plug. Anyway, worst case scenario, if I want it shorter, I can always cut shorter and just do this again. Right now, I'm cutting away the protective flashing so we can get access to the wires. And then I'll strip the individual wires. I'm sort of surprised that there's more than just three wires in here. There's three wires, and then I assume this is a something for strength, so that you're pulling on it rather than the wires. But we got three. A positive and negative and a ground is going to be my assumption there. In a moment, we're going to cut open the beamer piece, and we'll see if they match up. But right now, I'm going to clean off some more. All right, so here's the beamer cord. It has been really burnt out. Obviously bad, okay? It's time to cut this and take a peek inside. Guess what? It's got three wires that are the same three wires as this. You've got green, white, and black. So we're just gonna match these up to that one. I'm gonna end up cutting off some of this protective layer here. Oh, I think this is very confusing. Like I think this is very confusing. This is very confusing. Because I put in a lot of stuff, I can really the world gets lots of things. Way more than this one. Really dusty. Inside. I think it's really confusing. You know, really confusing. It's ugly but effective. They're all soldered up. Okay, this is it. Splice together the original cord, extension cord and the BMW charger, and now we can test to see if it works. Where previously it was burned out and wasn't gonna do anything. And plug it in down here. In. There we go, it's back to life. Nice. Anyway, there you go, you can save them. Okay, so this is what the updated cord looks like outside. You can tell it's really long. There's the box. And it's charging. 
and that is charging the three. Overall, this has come in really handy because sometimes when we go on trips or visit people or you know maybe get into an emergency that you need to charge someplace strange, it makes it so you can actually still plug in.